Oh. Oh. oh! I knew I could juggle. I nailed it with the juggling. Hey guys, and welcome to the Mr. Gray Live Show. I'm your wascally cartoonist and host, Mr. Gray, and today I'm gonna be your creative pilot as we journey into Imagination Land right here on this whiteboard. So stick around for the next hour and find out where I learned my sick juggling skills. And uh, I'm gonna teach you guys how to draw cartoons. Guess where? Right here on the super shiny, awesome whiteboard. So uh, if it's your first time joining the Mr. Gray Live Show, first off, welcome. Super happy you're here. But no, if it's your first time joining, you could do one of two things. You could either A, get your markers, crayons, pencils, or bananas, smear it all over your paper and do like a finger banana painting collage. Or you can B, get your uh, snickety snacks, your popcorns, your ice cream bars, your pizzas. If for some reason you are just craving pizza and you don't know why, you can cook a pizza and you can just sit back and hang out and have fun because we are all about positivity and creativity and silliness and a whole bunch of awesomeness. So before we get into the show, Let's go to producer Rosie and figure out why the heck I'm juggling bananas. What is tonight's theme? Tonight's theme is giraffes with banana necks and duck bodies. Did I get that right? Just like this guy. Giraffe heads, banana necks, duck bodies. And if you're wondering why the heck we're drawing giraffes with banana necks and duck bodies, well, you guys picked it last Wednesday right here on the Mr. Gray Live Show. And if you want to get your themes in, all you got to do is throw out the show in the comment section. Tell me what you want me to draw. And at the end of the show, we're going to bring out the whimsical wheel of whimsy. It's super whimsical and it's whimsical. And I failed on that one. Either way, it's a wheel. It's like Wheel of Fortune. We put your themes on it. We spin it. And we let fate decide what we draw right here. And this was a super hard one for me to come up with. So tonight is going to be very interesting so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna get right into it but before we get into it if you guys are wondering who i am my name is mr gray i'm a cartoonist and i make super awesome coloring books just like these three guys super nice and thick all available on amazon.com or my website if you want to be super awesome quickdrawmcdrew.com so if you guys want to draw along with me we're going to go into the first giraffe with a banana, neck, and duck body. But before we do that, we need to get the graphic away. So we're just gonna shoot it away like this. Boo -boo! That's how you get rid of that graphic. These are super special imagination guns. That's how you do that. All right, enough yapping. Let's get into this. I'm gonna get out your marker. You're gonna get out your marker. And together, we're gonna jump into imagination land. Let's do this. Let's start with our first giraffe with a banana neck and a duck body all right let's draw the one we just saw how about how about that so guess what we're gonna start with uh, let me make sure I build enough room here okay let's start right about here and every time you approach a drawing you want to kind of make sure that you see it on the paper before you draw it that way you don't run out of paper so we're gonna draw our first two eyes and if you ever want to make your character cool or have super lazy eyes, all you have to do is put a straight line going across and all of a sudden he's a cool cat and add little pupils. All right, so let's go right here. You're gonna add a single line and that's gonna go right into the top of his snout. And we're gonna curve it and we're gonna stop one time because we are gonna add a big old nostril, just like that. Once you got the big old nostril, we're gonna do one big swoopy line, just like that, and that is gonna go right into his cute little cheek. And let's go ahead and add his bottom lip. Now right here, all you gotta do is like you were drawing a capital D, but then you stopped because you had to run to the refrigerator to get some ice cream. But now you're gonna put an actual capital D in there. And if you're wondering, it's capital D, it's just sideways. But you're gonna go ahead and color in that side of the nose. All right, so now let's start building out the banana, okay? The banana. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna add a little line just like that. The top of his head is gonna be the stem of the banana. And then you're just gonna flatten the top off just like that. And then when you bring that line back in, you just want to make sure that you taper it a bit. 
And then you can round off the rest of his banana head, just like that. But you're gonna stop because we gotta add a little ear to our giraffe banana neck duck thingy. And I'll give you a couple seconds on that one because I have had some people tell me that this is a difficult shape and it's completely understandable. So I wish I could describe what I'm doing here, but it's like an upside down U with a little thing over there. That should, that should simplify it. So then we're just gonna go ahead and add the inside of the ear. And you're gonna repeat that same step right on the other side, just do it the reversed way. Okay, so this line right here, that's the banana line. You're gonna bring it on the other side of his neck. Just like that. So that's his banana neck. And sometimes I like to end my lines with little dots. No reason why other than I just like to do it. Okay, so now his head and his neck is a banana. So you wanna sort of see the line go through, right? So you wanna make sure that you come out right underneath there. Looks like we just, just made it. Let me go ahead and mark a line up here. That'll be my no-no line. That'll be, watch out, Mr. Gray, you are deathly close to the top of the camera. Okay, so right here, you're gonna add two little fluffy pieces for his chest. And then you're gonna add another fluffy one here. So tonight, all of our characters are gonna be drafts with banana necks and duck bodies, and we're gonna vary each one of them, but for the most part, every duck is gonna have the same simple shape, which is a big U, circle, I mean. So let's go ahead and do this. And do it the best you can. Does not have to be perfect. And then wherever your line finishes, that's where you're gonna add the tail. And what I like to do is I like to do that three times. So one, two, and three. And then once you got that, you can bring that line back into his neck. And then to simplify the duck wing, we're just gonna do this. It's gonna make it really easy. You're gonna love it. You're gonna tell your friends about it. You're gonna put a big U because you are so awesome. And then you're gonna draw a straight line just across like that. And then just for kicks, let's do some of that fanciness. That way we know it's a feather and not a sailboat, maybe. Oh boy, looks like we're running out of screen space. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this giraffe banana duck thingy small tiny legs. So for that, you're gonna do two lines tapering towards each other like they're trying to be best friends, but you know what, no buts, they're best friends. Okay. Once you have those two in there, then you can put in the feet. So I'm gonna do this foot first, since this foot is facing the camera. You're gonna do two uh, vertical parallel lines. And then, let me break this foot up. You do the back of the foot like that. And then, bring that foot all the way around. So now I'm gonna do that same foot on the other side. We're still good. That is always a good sign, but I'm gonna do, okay, so when you draw the foot in the back, you wanna make sure it's slightly higher than your last foot. Look at his tiny little feet and his big old body. I did say I wanted a challenge, Jeff. I truly, truly did. And then uh, I like to give my characters a little drop shadow. And if you are at home, I hope you're at home, hope you're not washing this somewhere dangerously. I don't even know where that would be. You wanna make sure you color that in a nice, rich black. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to my thinner handy dandy marker. And it's always important to use different line weights in your cartoon because it'll give it more character. Uh, so let's start from the top and work our way down. So up here, I'm just gonna add a little curved line. That way we see the little indentation on the banana stem. I'm also gonna draw some lines and I'm just dragging my pen down like that. That way you can kinda, your brain puts the rest together and you can see that it's a banana. He is part giraffe. So let's go ahead and add all those giraffe shapes. Yeah. 
Yep, yep, yep. Just drawing shapes. All right, so now let's go around and add some texture dots. This is the easiest, my favorite, the funnest, the simplest. It's just like poking your paper. And then some pieces of hair because, you know, why not? And if you guys are loving this, this uh, giraffe, banana, duck body thing, and if you're just sitting back watching and you wanna be awesome and help support Mr. Gray, please share the video, tell your friend, look at this weird creature I'm watching right now. This is how I'm spending my Wednesday, Gray, watching this weird character. All right, I think that about does it for our uh, giraffe, banana neck, body duck thingy-majigger. So last thing, you guys know what to do. You wanna make sure that you sign your masterpiece and I am gonna draw, where am I gonna draw my masterpiece? Did I just say, where am I gonna draw my masterpiece? I sure did. But you know what, before we finish, let's just draw a little poof bubble. Now we don't know what this poof bubble, bubble represents. Could really be anything, I don't know what it is. But that is how you draw a giraffe with a banana neck and a duck body. So I hope your giraffe, banana, duck body guy person thingy looks amazing. And uh, you guys know what to do. If uh, you've been here before and you've drawn along with me, please message me on Facebook. Send me your drawing. I'll post it on my website. I'll post it on social media. I'll show people how amazing you are. And uh, welcome, guys. Welcome to the Mr. Gray Live Show. I hope you guys are having an awesome Wednesday. If you're not, uh, I hope this show will make your day a little bit better because that's what we're about here. We're about positivity and creativity. So uh, before we get into our next drawing, I just want you all to know you're beautiful. Each and every one of you. Don't let anyone tell you different. That was perfect with the song. I planned it. And don't forget your dance breaks. What else? Anything else? Don't forget your bananas. You guys ready? Oh yeah, and don't forget to put your themes in throughout the show. So tonight's theme is giraffes with banana necks and duck bodies. And if you want your theme to get picked, as long as it's not Mickey Mouse and like New York skyline, uh, put it in the comments and we'll spin the whimsical wheel of whimsy at the end. So everyone say bye to Mr. Duck Giraffe Guy. I'm gonna keep that line that way. That way I don't get cut off. Thanks for stopping by for the show guys. Hope you're, uh, hope you're loving it. All right, you guys ready? Draw along with me. Let's do this. Let's do a little bit different one, but let's get into this. For this one, you wanna keep your paper horizontal and guess what we're gonna draw? Yep, we're gonna draw a giraffe with a banana neck and a duck body. So let's go ahead and start with, you guys already know it. An eyeball. Once you have your first eyeball in there, you can go ahead and draw your second eyeball. Now, we're gonna follow the same technique that we just did on the last one. We're gonna add a little snout. And if it is your first time joining the Mr. Gray Live show, say what's up. Don't be shy, we do not bite. Say hello in the comments, say hello to everybody. Say hello to me, I will say hello back and we will be hello friends forever. So now we're just gonna draw two uh, horizontal lines and that's how we're gonna give them sneaky eyes. That one's not so sneaky, let me fix that, there we go. Okay, so this banana draft we're gonna do a little bit differently. So instead of the actual peel of the banana, we're gonna do the inside of the banana and if you've eaten a banana before, which I'm probably sure you have, we're gonna make it a little bumpy. So as I'm drawing, if you wanna wait a second, you'll see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. I am shaking my hand as I go around to give it the uh, feel that it is the banana. Cause it's a little rough. 
So if you have a shaky hand, this would be the perfect drawing. All right, so let's do some more over here. All right, so this is we're, this uh, giraffe banana neck guy is gonna be peeled. That's right. We're gonna peel his banana. Let's bring that line a little lower. And again, guys, I'm shaking that line. You wanna do the same thing. Let's bring it a little lower. I'm just trying to make that even. Okay, so now we're gonna do the banana peeled. So here's how we're gonna do this. Together, we will win. I'm gonna do it in a couple different stages. That way it makes it super incredibly easy for you guys. And then you can tell all your friends, look how awesome I am. That sort of looks like a tongue, doesn't it? It, it does look like a tongue. That's how you do banana peel, make it look like a tongue. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna have the other side kind of come behind there. And you know what, for fun, let's go ahead and put another peel back here. And if you are just joining us, we are drawing giraffes with banana necks and duck bodies. So it's a three-way mashed up animal. Okay, you guys remember what we did with the duck on the last one? I know you do. We're gonna do the same thing. And if I go too low on the board, that just means he's gonna have tiny feet. Okay, so now right here, you guys remember what we do when we end the line of our duck body? One, two, and six. You wanna do three feathers right there in the back. And then we're just gonna bring this line back up into this banana. So now we got banana, we got a duck body, and let's do that easy duck wing that we love. A big old you for you guys are awesome. And then bring this line like that. And then I'm gonna add one, two, maybe just three that time. All right, so now let's go ahead and put in the duck feet. And it looks like we're gonna have to give our duck really small feet. Our camera, just a little short of his feet. I'm gonna add another one here. And all I'm doing is a triangle with the top cut off and then half circles. I'm sure there's a better way to explain it, but that's how my brain works and welcome to my brain. Okay. Just go ahead and do one of those maneuvers. <laughs> oh boy. I wish, all right, let me, let me do this better guys. All right. It's like an elongated C or a circle. I'm just like, yeah, just do this and everything will be fine. He's a tiny little duck. Okay, I'm gonna add a drop shadow. I hope we're good. And if you are at home, I always say if you're at home, how many of you are not at home? If you're watching, are you not at home? And where are you? And second of all, if you are watching, why don't everybody shout out their name and say hello? My name is Brian, and this is my first time on the Mr. Gray Live Show. And I'm glad I found it. It changed, drastically changed my life. Okay, so I'm switching to my thinner marker because we're gonna go ahead and add some details. And we're gonna start with the banana, which is peeled. Now we're still gonna add that little line, just helps us see the banana there. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a lot of dots because that, we all know, that banana, that banana texture is something else, it's weird, right? It's like chalky and dry but delicious. It's a strange, strange thing. Okay, what else? All right, let's add some ridges along this peeled banana. That way we know it's thick. You could even add little shadow lines under here. 
And then for the duck body, let's just add not as many dots as the banana. Maybe, maybe just one there. We know about that one. It's our little secret. And then I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna add little pieces of hair or fur or whatever the heck you call it. And that, uh, I think that's gonna, no wait, no, let's do this. Let's add a ridge on the foot. I almost finished too early. Just a little ridge right there. And that guys and gals is how you draw a giraffe with a banana neck and a duck body. And don't forget guys, don't forget to sign your masterpiece. If you don't sign it, how's anyone gonna know who the heck drew it, right? You wanna brag about it, you wanna show people how amazing your drawing is, you gotta put your name on it, okay? And if you really wanna brag about it and you want people to really know that you drew it, you could also circle it. And if that's not enough, you're like, I don't know if anyone's gonna notice my signature, the character is taking too much of the attention, then it is totally okay to go ahead and just go ahead and draw an arrow pointing at your signature and if one arrow isn't enough, you can always do two. You can add as many arrows as you can fit because really at the end of the day, it's not about the character, it's about your signature. So that has been, I'm kidding, terrible advice. But you want to uh, make sure you sign your masterpiece. That is the point, that is the game. That's how you win. Play to win. Now I'm just saying quotes. Catch more bees with honey. Mountains are tall. I made that one up, could you tell? That's just a fact. Cutest draft banana duck ever. If I saw a banana duck in real life, I would be so happy. We'd probably become best friends. I'd call him Clark. Clark, my banana giraffe duck friend. Love the mug. Mug's coming soon. Very soon. Something else is coming soon. <clears throat> the frog in my throat, part two. All right, everyone say bye. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat>If you guys are loving the show, please do me a favor. Please share it to your friends. Share it on your Facebook page. Share it to your Aunt Sally. Share it to your Dr. Bill. Share it to the whole world. Help me spread these silly cartoons to the world. And uh, fun fact, this is a banana. It's a Chiquita banana, actually. Probably the most famous banana there is. But if you look at her hat, she has more than just bananas in there. Traitor! Okay. Marker, got it. All right, you guys ready to do some drawings? Hairball. No hairball, okay. All right, guess what we're gonna draw next? That's right, we're gonna draw a giraffe with a duck neck and a banana body. Just kidding. Maybe, let's just do a banana body. All right, you guys ready? You're gonna draw along with me? Please draw along with me. I know you're gonna have fun. If you're like, I'm not an artist, you are an artist. All you need is your hand and a marker, okay? So draw along with me, send me your pictures, and uh, we'll all have a huge party. Okay, let's start with, oh, guys, you ready? I'm just like firing through this. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Guess what you're gonna draw? That's right. One squeaky circle. Once you have your one squeaky circle, guess what you're gonna draw next? A second circle. Who would have thunk? You guys remember this? Are you pros at this yet? You know, you could show me your pro by showing me your awesome drawing. I'd love to see them. I really would. It'd be like my favorite thing ever. And don't forget guys, put your themes in. Do it throughout the show, comment it right now. It could be Blueberry Warriors. I don't even know what that means, but that's what popped into my head. Anything you want. All right, so I'm gonna draw a sideways capital D. And uh, I'm just gonna draw his bottom lip. Oh boy, I feel the voice coming back. All right, so we are gonna draw on this giraffe those little weird antenna things that they have. 
Okay, no one really knows what they are. Scholars for years have been trying to decipher its meaning. Many people think it's the where the uh, top of stick shift knobs come from. That's what we have figured out so far. And basically all I'm doing here, guys, is I'm drawing two vertical lines. They're parallel, which means they're going the same way, i.e. copycats. And then uh, we're gonna draw that cool, we're gonna make them cool. You guys remember how to make a character cool? Boom, it's all about the eyelids. Super simple, just straight line, straight through your circles. That's it, that's all you have to do. All right, so here's what we're gonna do, guys, because this was a challenging theme. This was a challenging theme that you guys gave me. That's my crying voice. I'm gonna make the whole body banana, okay? Because why the heck not? All right, so that's that's a banana. And uh, let's do this. Let's bring this banana. You're gonna get thicker in the middle and then thinner at the end. That's usually what happens with the banana. And then at the end of the banana, guess what you're gonna do? That's right. You're gonna add the banana stem. And all you have to do is draw two lines like this. And as it comes out, you wanna make sure that they do the opposite of converging. I can't think of that word. Go spread apart. Go separate lives. This is a very, very elegant banana. It's very round and flowy, very thin banana. This is the type of banana you'd be eating on a diet. Okay, so you guys remember how to do the duck legs. Here we go, two converging points, just like that, right in the center of the bottom of his banana body. And then you're gonna end it with little half C's, little circles. And then you're gonna add another one right here, but remember, the back leg is always higher than the front leg. That's that whole perspective thing. And then for this giraffe banana body, duck body person, uh, let's go ahead and have just both feet this time going the same way. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw the back part of the foot just like that. And then it's gonna come all the way up here like that. And we'll go back and add detail, spice it up. And now I'm gonna repeat the same shape back here. So I'm gonna power through it. Okay. I think we're ready for some detail. Okay, let's bring this, let's bring this giraffe banana duck body to life. So I'm gonna to switch to a thinner marker. If you're drawing along with me, I do suggest varying your line weights. So he is a giraffe, so let's go ahead and add some dots. Now this part is the best part of the whole drawing because it is impossible to mess up unless you just like go way off the paper for some weird reason. Maybe you're in California and you experience an earthquake and uh, you go off the paper. Or maybe you're in the back seat of a car and uh, you're watching on an iPad and somebody hits a bump in the road. Or maybe your brother, sister, friend, lover pushes your arm while you're drawing. Okay, and let's just go ahead and add a little curved line there. That's the top of the banana stem. And now what we're gonna do over these lines that we just drew, I'm gonna add the ridge of the banana and I'm gonna do it really quick, just like that. And you don't have to think about it. If you think about it, you go way off. What else? We can add some dots on the duck fur. We can add some hair on the duck fur. We can add a ridge, a line to show the thickness of the duck foot. You know what, I'm gonna add some dots along my body and I'm, I'm not actually putting on the dots. Don't know why, I just made that decision. And uh, let's go ahead and add some hair on this banana. Woo, that is a hiccup. Okay, and lastly, I'm actually gonna end with a drop shadow for our, do 
Do I want to adopt a kitten? Um, what about the Mr. Gray Live Show with eight kittens? Hey guys, and welcome to the Mr. Gray Live Show. I am Mr. Gray, and these are my co-hosts, eight kittens. While I draw, they will be in the background non-stop meowing. And they will all be hooked up to their own personal mic, making it even louder. Which will force me to scream the entire show. It is going to be a blast. Alright, and then lastly, you guys know what to do. Sign your master piece. And that is how you draw a giraffe with a banana neck and a duck body. Isn't he silly? If you guys are wondering why I'm drawing a giraffe with banana necks and duck bodies, it's because every Wednesday I'm here at the same time, 7 o'clock. Unless, of course, it's like 4th of July and I gotta go hang out poolside. No big deal. Then we'll be here every Wednesday at 7 o'clock and you guys can watch, you can draw along. Uh, and uh, where am I going with this? Oh, if you do watch and you do want to see me draw something like giraffes with banana necks and duck bodies, right now, the whole show, in the comments, start writing your ideas. It could be, it doesn't have to be a mashup. It could be all snakes. It could be superhero snakes. It could be snakes on a plane. I am obviously fixated on snakes right now, but you get my point. Anything but copyrighted characters. That means like Mickey Mouse. So as long as it's from here, meaning your imagination, I'll do my best to draw it. So I was given this task last week and it was incredibly hard. This was the hardest one, but uh, they're silly and I'm having fun with it and I hope you guys are having fun. But if it is your first time joining the Mr. Gray Live Show, welcome, I'm Mr. Gray. I'm a cartoonist, I make coloring books and soon more stuff, secret stuff in like a week, you'll know. It's super cool and soon, this show is gonna have a new edition. I can't wait. And if you guys are wondering, this is a banana. So, if you guys aren't drawing tonight, and you're just watching, at least you're gonna learn this is a banana. It's yellow in color, uh, with greenish accents. There are dots on it, and Oddly, there's a sticker on it. So, and that's all natural. That's, it actually grows with a sticker on it. It's natural and efficient, all in the same time. All right, you guys ready to get another one? Let's see how much time we have. We have 20 minutes. Everyone say bye to this guy. His name is whatever the name of the Toys R Us giraffe is because Toys R Us went out of business. Oh, so sad. So sad. But then Amazon came, so I guess everything's okay. Ugly dogs that are actually adorable. Okay, if that one gets picked, that's incredibly difficult. I don't even know what that means. Do I just draw an adorable dog? Okay, you guys are really challenging me now. Okay. All right, you guys ready? Pick up that pencil, pick up that pen, pick up anything you have in front of you. I'm gonna give you a second, and I wanna see your drawing. So at the end of the show, message me on Facebook, send me your drawing. I'll throw it on my website and we'll show the whole world. You guys ready to get into a drawing? I know I am. Let's do this. We're gonna do a goofy one with buck teeth. This is how you draw a giraffe with a banana neck and a duck body. Let's go. You're gonna start with one eyeball. Once you have the eyeball in there, you can go ahead and draw another eyeball. All right, so you guys are pros at this next part. Draw one line going down like that. What's not in Canada? I'm so curious. All right, here we're gonna draw a nostril. Boom. These are gonna be a goofy one, so it's okay to get goofy with your line here. And I'm gonna try to change the way this giraffe banana duck guy looks like. And we're gonna end it with a little cheek. Once you have a cheek in there, go ahead and add the bottom lip. Now to do the other nostril, we're gonna do a upside down U. Then inside the upside down U, you're gonna do a capital D that's on its head. Now let's make his eyes cross-eyed because he is a silly giraffe banana neck duck body guy. Then we're gonna go up here and we're gonna add our little eye thingy. And now we're actually gonna peel his head because it's the head of a banana. But we're gonna peel the banana head 
Just like that. Oh, it's still in Toys R Us? Well, you know what I say to that? I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. All right, so the banana's gonna be coming out of here. So, let's do the banana first and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that super special one. You guys remember what to do with the weird banana texture, that dry, tasty, delicious banana thingy inside the banana? Just do a shaky line. <clears throat> now, the reason I left this is because we're gonna do this. Like it's, you know, it's doing something. It's doing something funny. I have no idea. Okay, let's add one more banana shape back there. I'm gonna add a couple lines coming down here like that. All right, so now this needs to go into a banana neck. So I'm just gonna draw a straight line like that. And then again, guys, you wanna try to see the line through the body and get it as parallel as possible. And I'm gonna add that little center line. And it's just a few little light lines with dots. And that is the top of our banana. So right here, you're gonna add two furry pieces for his chest. Ooh, this is gonna be a tiny body. I feel like it's gonna be a tiny body. Okay, so now to do the duck body, you're gonna do one of these moves. We're gonna have tiny feet, aren't we? We're gonna have real tiny feet because we are running out of camera space. But you know what? There are no mistakes in art and it's just gonna make it funnier. Let's go ahead and add the tail feather. But since we've been drawing the same exact tail feather for every single giraffe, banana, duck, body guy, let's do a different one. Let's bow that one out. Let's round this top part. Let's bring it back in. And let's go ahead and throw that back into the body. And now we're gonna keep, you know, we're gonna switch up the, we're gonna switch up the feather too, because you know what? It's our drawing and we do whatever the heck we want. So here's what we're gonna do. Like that. Then do this, then add another one. Then you're gonna do that. And then let's flex that. It's been working out. Okay. Now here on the tail feather, let's go ahead and add a couple of straight lines. Change the length of them, give it variation. It's all about variation. Now let's go ahead and put in those super tiny feet because I didn't give myself enough room. But then again, it is a giraffe banana guy. So to do the duck feet, two lines converging to, 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 to I am malfunctioning. Okay. Basically draw a triangle, but don't finish. Or draw two lines that are about to run into each other, but they don't because somebody frees time. Do you guys ever malfunction? Uh, it happens to me all the time. All right, how much, we got a little bit of room. We got this much room. So I'm gonna try to you translate that into this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give him super tiny feet because we don't know what that is. All right, and then let's go ahead and add a drop shadow. And since this drop shadow is so tiny, guess what guys? I'm actually gonna color it in black. This is the 17th show we've done here on Mr. Gray Live Show. And uh, I don't think I've ever colored it in black. So history has been made, as they say. And when I speak of they and people, I refer to me and the voices of my head. Okay, I'm gonna switch to a thinner marker and we're gonna add some details or detail, depending on where you are at in your brain. All right, first let's go up to the banana peel. Let's add some ridges here. Let's add another ridge here. The banana, we're gonna add a shaky line coming down the opposite way. Then let's add a bunch of dots. Really turn up that texture on this. I'm actually gonna give it some hair. I say hair because, I don't know what the heck to call it. Little straight furry lines. And then, uh, what else? Okay, let's go ahead and just keep the dots going on the body. Add little pieces of fur, hair, 
lines. I think that's gonna about do it. You know, let's give them one of those duck things. They got that like permanent choker on. That's what we're gonna do for this duck. And uh, let's just add a little line on the feet so it looks like it has some shape to it. And uh, lastly, you guys know what to do when you're done with your giraffe head, banana neck, duck body. That is a that is a long one to say, guys. You can sign your masterpiece. Once you sign your masterpiece, stand next to your whiteboard like this and say, that's how you draw a giraffe with a banana neck and duck body. And do it as awkwardly as possible to somebody in your house. And uh, speaking of houses, I would love to know where everyone's at. So why don't you guys tell me where we're at in the world? Is anybody currently watching from Zimbabwe? If you are watching from Zimbabwe, I will send you a coloring book. And you can't lie. You have to prove it. You have to stand in front of the sign that says population of Zimbabwe. I don't know how many people live in Zimbabwe. But if you send me that, then you'll get a coloring book. You'll get one of these super fancy coloring books. Did you guys know I make coloring books? Did you? I bet you did. We have animal mashup, food, super delicious, and my very first coloring book, Animals and Friends, volume one. And speaking of that one, I'm actually turning it into a zombie version, which will be out just in time for Halloween, which is gonna be perfect. And uh, it's gonna be a special edition. It's gonna be all in color. Well, not the pages because then you would be able to color it. Then it would just be a book. And who likes books and reading? Nobody. Nobody in the world likes to read. These are facts. Welcome to the Mr. Gray Live Show. I hope you guys are having a blast. If you are having a blast, keep having a blast. That's what we're all about is having a blast here. Just blasts, loads of blasts of fun. So yeah, I'm malfunctioning again. Let's see how much time we got left. We have 10 minutes left on the Mr. Gray Live Show. I think we can squeeze in one more drawing, but before we do that, start getting your themes in. Right now, just start going as crazy as you can, as many themes as possible. Do you want me to draw flowers, animals, bears, teddy bears, teddy bears that have gone crazy, zombie teddy bears? You see, I just get fixated on one thing, but start throwing in your comments. And if it's your first time on the Mr. Gray Live Show and you've never suggested a theme, don't be shy, I promise. We will not bite. Get in there and throw in your theme. As long as it's not Mickey Mouse, we'll draw it, we'll have fun. Maybe there's something you wanna learn how to draw. You could do that. All right, let's do one more drawing tonight of our giraffe with a banana neck and a duck body. And uh, don't forget guys, don't forget to get your themes in there. Pirates, maybe. Pirate. Wild West Pirates. I don't know. I'm just trying to trying to help you guys think. Oh, snakes. Snakes would be a good one. Snakes on a plane. Snakes drinking Kool-Aid. I have no idea. All right, guys, here we go. Last drawing of the night. This is your time to shine. Get out your marker. Get out your paper. And let's do a incredibly goofy giraffe banana neck guy. Let's do, let's try to build enough room this time. Maybe I'll draw a little bit smaller. Okay, start with your first eyeball. Once you have your first eyeball in there, I'm actually gonna make this eyeball a little bigger because this is gonna be an incredibly zany one. To prove how zany it is, Put the pupils in different locations. Then we're gonna go above the eye and we're gonna add an eye thingy. <clears throat> All right, right here, let's go ahead and add the little stick shift antenna thingies. And then for the top of the head, let's go ahead and do one line like this. We're gonna push his head in a little bit. like that and you're gonna add this same shape back here again this is gonna be a really silly 
banana, giraffe, duck guy. So we're gonna draw the stem actually coming off the side of his head. So the stem to the banana. Then you're gonna draw a straight line just like that. And then from that line, you're gonna converge it and go really close. And don't forget guys, this is the last drawing. So after this, we are gonna bring out the whimsical wheel of whimsy and you guys are gonna decide what we draw next week. So make sure you start writing your themes right now. What the heck do you wanna see me draw next Wednesday right here on the Mr. Gray Live Show? We could draw princesses. We could draw zombie princesses. Princes? What is the plural to princess? Princise. Let's go add that tongue in there. And then you're gonna add the inside of the mouth. But how about let's go to this nostril. You guys remember what to do? Upside down U. Once you have the upside down U in, you can draw a sideways capital D. Once you have the capital D in, color the right side black. And that is how you get the other nostril. And then for the mouth, I'm just gonna follow along like that. And you wanna color at home. <laughs> there you go. You just wanna color that in black. Color that bad boy in black. Okay. So this is gonna turn into a banana neck. So here's how we're gonna do this. Curve line like that. Then you wanna curve another line. Maybe I'll take that line a little lower. Okay. Now this is gonna be the banana, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. From the center, between these two lines, you're gonna draw the first banana peel, like that. And then the second banana peel, this is gonna go just like that. All right, so now from underneath this banana, we're gonna draw our duck body. So we're gonna do the same shape that we've been doing all night. And that'll be the bottom of the duck body. And then that's gonna go into this tail. So you're gonna curve it out like that. Curve it around. And then this line is gonna come in closer. And just another reminder, guys, don't forget to put in your themes right now in the comment section because after this drawing, we are bringing out the Whimsical Wheel of Whimsy. So this is your last moment to get in your theme to find out what the heck we're gonna draw right here on the Mr. Gray Live Show. Wild West Snakes, shout out to snakes. Snakes are super popular tonight. Everyone's talking about it. All right, let's add in the wing. So we're gonna do this type of wing. I'm gonna do this two more times. One, two. And then we're gonna curve that line back over here. Now let's go ahead and add the feet. Two lines coming down like that. And then, we're gonna round off the bottom like that. And then, you know what? Let's go ahead and separate the legs this time. <clears throat> so always remember the back leg needs to be a little bit higher. And we're gonna have our feet go in two different ways. So draw two vertical lines. And then your back line like that. And then have that come around just like that. And then we're gonna flip it the other way, but just make sure that this is a little higher. Make sure it's got extra squeak. <clears throat> and then of course, don't forget your drop shadow. If you don't wanna do a drop shadow, that's okay too. But he lets us know he is safely planted on the ground. All right, so now I'm gonna switch to my thinner marker and we're gonna go around and we're gonna add some detail. So let's start with the banana peel. And I'm just adding a line that's going down the center of the banana and I'm breaking it up with dots. I'm gonna go on the actual peel here. 
add a ridge just like that we're gonna go up to the stem and add a curved line for the inside of our stem since we're on the banana let's just finish it off with some dots and what else you could do are little circles almost like liver spots like if you're drawing drawing an old man character you draw some circles on it and it's all of a sudden liver spots and your character looks older so all these little tricks to make them look older let's go underneath the banana and make it slimy like the banana was smashed onto his body then let's go around the body and add some more texture dots I hope your guys' character looks amazing. Don't forget to message me on Facebook. Send me your drawings, and I will put them on my website. I just put up new drawings. You guys can check it out. Your drawing just might be there. Let's go under here. Add some, sh some lines. And then in the feet, you're just going to add <clears throat> the little ridge. That way we have some dimension to our foot. And you know what, just cause he's a little zany, let's add some squirt, what's the word I'm looking for? Curly? Some curlies. Some curly fur. We just barely made it, nice. Okay, and uh, lastly, you guys know what to do. Don't forget to sign your master piece. And that is how you draw a giraffe with a banana neck and a duck body requested by you guys right here last week. What was that? That was on a Tuesday though, right? But we're here every Wednesday. Last week was an anomaly and uh, you guys gave me a hard one, but I think we succeeded and I hope your drawings look amazing. I'm sure they do. And uh, <clears throat> it's about that time. It's about that time. Two more, two more slots. Two more slots to figure out what we're gonna draw right here on the Mr. Gray Live Show. So I'm gonna give you guys three minutes. I'll give you two minutes. One minute for each theme left. How about we use this time to talk about my new coloring book? Mr. Gray, that's me. Animal mashup. What is an animal mashup? It's like this. It's a pop again. This is part pigeon, part popcorn, and every page has a fun fact like this. When exposed to very high temperatures, the popagin produces popcorn. Who would have thunk? If you guys are interested in this or know somebody who loves coloring books, all my books are on Amazon. Uh, they're also on my website. But if you go to Amazon, you get it for a cheaper price, don't tell anybody. And if you got that prime, you get it in two days, sometimes one because I don't understand how magical Amazon is, but they're magical. We good? One more minute. One more minute to get your theme in. What do you want to see me draw? You thought I disappeared? I snuck out for a second. Had to go pay my taxes, but I'm back. Thank you, Emily. It was difficult to draw these drafts. People flying, I like it. I'm glad you guys like the drawings. I hope you had fun watching. I hope your day was brightened by just a little. <clears throat> That's all we're trying to do here. The world can be a crazy place and if you're looking for an outlet to uh, just not stress out and relax, Mr. Gray Live shows where it's at. I think it's time for the whimsical wheel whimsy. That's what I think. Yeah? I'm getting yes. Are you guys ready? For the Mr. Just kidding. It's just called the Miss. I can't even remember what it's called. The Women's Call. Wheel of. Find out what we're drawing next week. On the Whimsical Wheel of Whimsy. All right. Get my handy dandy note card. All right. Let's find out what we are drawing right here live on the Mr. Gray Live Show. Live, live, live next week. Is it going to be animals? on vacation, vacation. Is it gonna be Mr. Gray's favorites? That is me. And these would be my, ooh, that would be cool. I would truly find my favorites. Blueberry Warriors, why do I feel like I said that? 
I might have. Or we think alike. Ugly dogs that are actually adorable. I don't know what to do with this one. This is gonna get picked, because that's just how the universe works. Ugly dogs that are actually... <gasps> I just thought of something. I just thought of something super awesome if that gets picked, and I can't tell you. But I have an idea. Laughing animals. Animals with unibrows. Poolside veggies. That's pretty cool. Robot royalty. Ooh. Hmm, yes. Robot royalty. Wild West snakes. Shout out to snakes again. How'd the snakes get on the plane? That's what I want to know. Animals on surf boards with sunglasses. Are they Ray-Bans? Snake, su snake superheroes. Why is that hard to say? It's like she said she sold seashores down by the seashores. Something like that. That last one I wrote, oh, snake superheroes, I already told you. Toy animals, but alive? That's just an animal. Wait, a toy animal, but it's alive? Wait, I know how to do that one, I got it, okay. Exotic birds. And last but not least, mythological cre creatures? I threw the card too quick. I think it said creatures. All right, let's find out <clears throat> what we are gonna draw next week, next Wednesday, right here, Mr. Gray Live Show, seven o'clock. Let's find out. Big money, big money, big money. And the winner for the brand new Toyota Tundra is... Oh. My. God. What did I say? This is literally what I said. This is the universe. Just, okay. Join me guys next week while you watch me try to draw ugly dogs that are actually adorable. Okay, do you realize this is officially the hardest theme I have ever been given. But I am up to the challenge and I'm gonna figure it out. Ugly dogs are actually adorable. All right guys, I hope you had fun on the Mr. Gray Live Show. Don't forget to tune in next week to see me either fail or succeed at drawing, what is it again? Ugly dogs that are actually adorable. So join me guys next week right here, seven o'clock on the Mr. Gray Live Show. Don't forget to send me your drawings. I'd love to see them. Just shoot me a message on Facebook. And uh, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel, pick up a coloring book. And until next week, you guys know what to do. Stay positive, stay creative, and above all, stay silly. So good at juggling bananas. Spin move. Double, double spin move. Up, oh, lost the banana. One spin move banana. Hope these bananas are still gonna be good to eat. Nope, this banana splitting. Hey, banana split! <laughs> and I lost both bananas.